So I'm going to use my um, buddy heater to try to cook some mac and cheese on it. In theory, you can cook with these. You got to take this grain, flip it over, and then you can uh, cook on it. So I'm going to give that a try. One issue I can see with it is that this doesn't stay level. It falls down. So I'm going to put my pan on there. It's just going to slide off. So I'll have to find some way to try to support this. Okay, so I found this uh, tent stake that's holding the front of it. Seems to be pretty sturdy. So I should be able to put a pan right here, boil some water, make some mac and cheese. Hopefully do so without catching my bedding on fire. So I am in my car, staying at the rest area. Okay, the buddy heater is lit. I got the pan on there. It should boil it. Let's see how long it takes. Well, I got that running. I got, um, you know, this is safe. It's supposed to be safe to use indoors. I would only run it inside a vehicle for like four or five minutes and I shut it off, just take the chill off. So since I'm trying to cook with it, I got, um, I got my door open for ventilation. So it's been cooking for about seven minutes. It's starting to get hot. Um, it's still not boiling yet, but it's getting there. So this bedding is getting really hot. So yeah, I need to rethink this. I don't want to catch this on fire. So. All right, I got the bedding pulled back and uh, got my water back on there heating up. One issue with this Explorer is the roof leak, so the carpet is actually soaking wet. So that'll actually work to my advantage. I don't have to worry about it catching on fire now. Well, I'm like 35 minutes in, so I don't think I'm going to actually get a full rolling boil with this. So I'm going to try to cook my mac and cheese without that. Then it'll turn out kind of mushy, but that's okay. Yeah, it just doesn't quite get the pan hot enough to get yourself a rolling boil with it. About an hour into this process. So yeah, I think this would be better suited for like just heating up soups and stuff, canned soup, you know, instead of trying to actually bring something to a boil. So what I ended up, I ended up with here is just uh, cooking on my buddy propane heater. I just ended up with basically mac and cheese mush. Taste. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty horrible. Um, but you know, it's food. This would be better suited, like I said, for making um, soups on it, cook chili, cook a wide variety of canned foods, beef stew. That'd work really good. Like if you're out in your hunting lodge and hunting camp, and you want to just heat up some beef stew, put it right here on your heater. Since you've already got the heater running anyway, you try to stay warm, your hunting blind or whatever. Yeah, that'd be good for that. So, not so much for anything you got to actually try to get a good boil on. Otherwise, if you don't boil noodles good, of course, they just turn into a mush. But yeah, so maybe next time I'll cook some beef stew on it, canned beef stew. But yeah, you know, staying at the rest area this evening. And uh, yeah, this, uh, yeah, I guess it's not bad, the mac and cheese. Noodles not cooked quite right, turned into like a mushy paste, but hey, it's, it's food, it's hot, it's filling, so, so that's good.